holder of genocide. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to see a man who calls himself the holder of genocide. A look of despair will appear on the worker's face, telling you that the man you wish to see is evil beyond description. The worker will take you to an old wooden door. If you see blood trickling from underneath the door, followed by a loud banging coming from the other side of the door. Run! Get out of that place as fast as you can. You do not want to see the hellish beast responsible for the banging. The sight of it will cause you to tear out your own eyes. If there is no blood, it is safe to proceed. Once you are on the other side of the door, you will be in a barren field surrounded by a wall of barbed wire with huts dotted about the landscape, highly reminiscent of a Nazi death camp. The sun will appear to be eclipsed. Head in the direction of the sun, but do so quietly. Do not run. Do not speak. As you continue walking, you will see thousands of corpses of men, women, and children alike, naked and mutilated in many horrific ways. Some missing limbs, some covered in large cuts, others will be completely burned. The bodies are strewn across the landscape in a careless manner, some on their own others piled up in mass graves. These corpses are the reason why it is vital that you stay silent, for if you disturb one of them, they will all wake up and drag you into the abyss. If a corpse is obstructing your path, keep your distance and walk around it. Getting too close will mean the end of your quest. Follow the eclipsed sun until you get to a large cliff overlooking a blood-red ocean. Once you are there, shout a single phrase towards the horizon. I am here to see the man responsible for all of this. Upon shouting this phrase, thousands of bodies similar to the ones back at the death camp will rise out of the sea, floating as if completely weightless. They will come together to form a large hallway. Proceed down the hall of corpses. Make sure you are completely confident that you will get what you came for. The slightest hint of your own self-doubt will cause the bodies to separate and you will fall into the ocean of blood. When you reach the end of the hallway, you will be in a large circular room. The hall of bodies will disappear, leaving you trapped in this room. The room is filled with mutilated corpses of Nazi soldiers impaled on large wooden stakes. You will hear groaning, indicating that the corpses are in fact still alive, forever damned to suffer eternal torment for the crimes they committed against humanity. At the center of the room will be a pile of clothes, shoes, and other possessions, clearly things that belonged to the many corpses back at the death camp. On top of this pile will be an electric chair. Strapped into the chair will be a man wearing an SS general officer's cap and a dark grey trench coat. He is horribly mutilated. His open trench coat reveals that there is no skin on his chest. His rib cage and internal organs are clearly visible, with the exception of his heart, which is missing. There is a large gash across his throat with blood still trickling down from the wound. This is the holder of genocide. He will respond to only one question. How many will die when they are brought together? The SS General Officer will break free of the straps that bind him and climb down from the pile. He will start talking about how he and his men were responsible for murdering many Jews during the Holocaust. He will talk in horrifying detail about how he took pleasure in watching his men torturing and killing children, and will even sound boastful. You may find yourself wanting to attack this man in a blinding fit of rage, but you must remain calm. Despite his mutilated appearance, he could effortlessly rip you in half with his bare hands. 
His boastful tone will change to one of remorse, however, when he starts talking about how he and his men are now forever damned to suffer at the hands of the ones they have wronged. During this part of the conversation, you may hear whispering coming from behind you, and even the feeling of someone's hand on your shoulder. You must not break eye contact with the general officer, despite the overwhelming urge to turn around. If you turn around, the general officer will invite you to share his suffering. At the end of his speech, he will take off his cap and hand it to you. Thank you for listening and allow you to leave. When you turn around, you will see a black door. Once you have seen the door, you must not look back to the general officer. For if you do, he and his men will be able to follow you back to the real world. They will stop at nothing until all the objects are reunited. Once you go through the door, you will find yourself in a local cemetery, still holding the officer's cap. This is Object 601 of 2538. It has the power to wipe out an entire race of people. It must never be used, and they must never come 